on Ferguson. I said there was no guard on Ferguson, and a lot of people kind of got offended by that, and a lot of people are asking me or challenging me about my comments on guard on the Ferguson unit. So here's the clip. Really beat and kill niggas. Who, when you come out in the morning, we don't even go to break and go on to Ferguson. All famous gladiator school, mm -hmm. Ferguson, right? Now listen, this place is called Jim Ferguson. It was built in 1948. They built a road to get there, right? So before it's there, there's no road, it's past. They built a road and they built a prison, which we call a plantation. They named that road Savage Drive. I'm saying that to say it wasn't until I got there that I ran into real racism. Well, we ran into white men, right, who really beat and kill niggas. Who, when you come out in the morning, we don't even go to breakfast, because they got a crew called a beat em up crew. They pulling niggas' ass out and whooping their ass, nigga. Who, you, who can you complain to? Nobody. Now, God. No, now listen to what I'm saying. I don't, I'm not gonna bash nobody religion. If God wasn't present. Now, when I when I say that statement, a lot of people are appalled that I made that statement by saying God uh, wasn't present. So, um, <laughs> I mean. I don't know how to say it because I experienced some things that you experience is hard to um, articulate. If you believe in heaven and hell, we both can agree that God is not present in hell. So God isn't everywhere. He know who he know who is in hell, but he ain't there. Right. So we can agree to that. God is not in hell. He knows who is there, but he isn't there. Okay, here's another thing. In, in the Bible, God destroyed a city. It's called Gotham and Zamora. He, he destroyed this city with fire and brimstone, right? And he destroyed this city because he wasn't there. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm giving you two examples where God is not present and man is running rapid. I'm not saying God don't exist. What I'm saying is he's not in hell. He wasn't in Sodom and Gomorrah. And he was not on Ferguson. He still ain't on Ferguson. Because we talk about Ferguson like it's the past. People are on per Ferguson right now. That is my explanation for that. When I'm saying God wasn't there. He was not present. He knew who was there, but he wasn't present. Man has built a structure and man has ran rapid in abusing and controlling other men. So that was my explanation of telling you what is going on in prison. Yeah, he wasn't there. Now, a lot of people find God in prison. Well, damn, CEO, how do people find God if he ain't there? Cause they find themselves. Yes. I found myself. Yeah. God ain't in hell, but you going to have to come out of hell. And I found myself when I was in there. And that's just the honest to God truth based on my experience. And I hope y'all understand that. I hope that don't go over your head, but it, he wasn't there, man. And I found myself and I emerged from them goddamn ashes.